Hello everyone, so we will continue our data engineer interview preparation part. So in this particular video, we are going to see few Python related question which is generally asked in interview. The first question is like what is the difference between the deep copy and shallow copy? And the second question is like what is the difference between the list and tuple? And this is a very most common question which is generally asked in interview. So you should know about what is deep copy, shallow copy so that we are going to understand. So let's start with the first question. What is the difference between the deep copy and shallow copy? So what is a shallow copy? It will create a new object but it will refer the original object only for the nested element. What is a deep copy? It will create a completely independent copy including the nested elements. Let's take one example with that example let's understand. So suppose I am creating one uh, list. Let's take a simple example I am creating one list 1, 2 and 3. 1, 2 and 3 this is the list element I have. Now if I will do I will create a new object L1. I want to create a new object similar to the L. So if I will do L1 equal to the L. Now if I will do any change into the L. Suppose what I am doing. If I will do L0 equal to the 100. So what I am doing. This first index I am making the value as a 100. Now if I will print L and L1. If I will print both the list. So you can see. In both the list actually it got reflected. In the L also. In L1 also it got reflected. Even though I am changing only the list 1 but it got reflected in the both the places. So whenever you will use a equal you always have to remember if, if you will change into the first it will also change into the another also uh, whenever you are doing a copy like this because both the things are pointing to the same memory location. Now we have a uh, two things with the help of that we can uh, do a proper copy one is the shallow copy one is the shallow copy and the second is the deep copy. So what is a shallow copy? So to understand the difference between the shallow copy and deep copy we will take a we will create a list nested list then only you will get better idea. So suppose I am creating one nested list. I have a 1, 2, 3 and I have a 2, 3, 4. This is the nested list I have. Now what I will do? How actually you can create a shallow copy? So for creating a shallow copy what you have to write? Copy dot copy l copy dot copy l you have to import a copy import a copy now if i will print l and the l1 if i will print l and the l1 it's a copy dot copy you can see uh, both both the list are same right this is the first list and this is the second list both the list are same with the help of the shallow copy we are able to copy. Now what I will do? I will try to change into the first list. So if I will do L0, 0, the first element I am making as a 100. So this is the first element I am making as a 100. Now if I will do this. So you can see in the both the list actually it got reflected. Because whenever you have a nested element, whenever you have a nested list, and if you are using the shallow copy, so in this case what will happen? It will create a new object but it will refer the original objects only in the case of the nested and both will point to the same memory location. So that is the shallow copy. Now let's see in the case of the deep copy how actually it is happening. Deep copy. So what actually for the deep copy what you have to write? Copy dot deep copy you have to write. Now if I will execute the same command, I created the new list with the help of the deep copy. I am changing only the first list. You can see it got changed only in the first list. It didn't got changed into the second list. So that is the deep copy. So whenever you will create a deep copy, it will create a completely independent copy including the nested element. So whenever you have a nested element this kind of the scenario. Now in that scenario what you have to remember when you will use a shallow copy right. And if you are changing into the first list in the uh, and if you are using a shallow copy so whatever the second list whatever you have created that will refer to the original objects only means if you will change in the one place the second place also will get changed. So that will happen in the case of the shallow but in the case of the deep copy it will create a completely independent copy. So that is the thing you have to uh, remember. Now that was the first question. Now second question is like what is the difference between the list and tuple. So how actually we create a list with the help of the square bracket we create a list right. 
वन टू थ्री सो दिस इज नथिंग बट अ लिस्ट वॉट इज अ टपल सो हाउ एक्चुअली वी क्रिएट अ टपल लाइक दिस वी क्रिएट अ टपल राइट लाइक दिस वी क्रिएट अ टपल सो तो बोथ लिस्ट एंड टपल वी यूज फॉर द टू स्टोर द कलेक्शन ऑफ एलिमेंट विद स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट वी रिप्रेजेंट द एल and uh, you can see this bracket we represent it for the tuple that is the first difference the second difference list is a mutable what is the list list is a mutable it is a mutable mutable what is mutable means mutable means if you will change anything into the list suppose i will do uh, l dot append and 5 and if i will print l and if i'll print l you can see five got appended into the list means whatever the list you have created you can change that list any time but if you'll perform the same operation here a dot append four this will not work because in the case of the tuple it is a immutable it is a immutable immutable means you can't change any list once you will create a list you can't change the value in the list so that is the difference the main difference is like list is a mutable you can change any time but tuple is a immutable you can't change uh, once you create that now when to use a list and tuple when you need a dynamic collection with frequent update modification or append then you go for the list when you have to use a tuple when you need a fix read only collection or want to use the data as a dictionary then you go for the tuple so what is the difference between the list and tuple list we represent with the square bracket and list is a, a mutable which you can change that and whenever you need a dynamic collection with a frequent update you go for the a list now what is a tuple uh, we represent with the bracket in a tuple it is a immutable you can't change once you create that and whenever you need a fix read only collection then you go for the tuple so that is the difference you have to remember i hope you got the idea